All right, I am with artist Tom Ross, and during Indian Market, we took how many? How many? We had twenty. We had twenty Indians named, and it was Crazy Arrow is the installation. And what it is? Why don't you tell what Crazy Arrow is all about? Well, uh, in, in doing my research over the last fifty years, I came upon several photographs of Indians in a field shooting arrows straight up into the sky. I was, I love the, the the shape is so. It's like Willie Mays making this catch in 54. It's this, this beautiful shape. And uh, what it was, it's, they called it Crazy Arrow. Uh, a variety of tribes had the same uh, uh, ritual. It's where the young men would go into a field and they would stand together and they would shoot the arrow straight to the sky. And then they would have to stand as the arrow came back down. This is a variation of what uh, Ron and I would have played when we were kids called Chicken. Yeah. Where who's got to jump off the roof of the house? Who's got to jump off the cliff into the lake? Who's got to drive your car? Is what yep. you know that the whole Russian thing. The Russian roulette. The Russian roulette thing. And what what I love about it is uh, it shows that again we, there there is a certain unity between human beings, not uh, social or tribal. It's just young men do stupid things, <laughs> and uh, this just looks better than you know writing you know maybe. Playing Russian roulette. <laughs> Make up be my next series. What you guys? So these came from the hills of Lamy. They were out. Uh, Tom had permission from one of the landowners out there. So we went out really early in the morning during Indian Market, and for two weeks, you camped out there, right? Yeah. And these were out on the hills. There were twenty of them out on the hills, and now we have fourteen of them here at Artisan, and they're going to live here until we either get sold or. or but he has Just plenty of other. Has. He's done Custard's Last Stand. He's done the Black Sox. He's got a lot of other stuff. So yeah, I did, I did uh, Field of Dreams. I had the plywood Field of Dreams with the eight guys coming out of the cornfield. We did Custer's Last Stand, which we actually put on the battlefield uh, in June of 2005, and that had 200 figures. Uh, I did Willie Mays making his famous catch, and I did Buffalo Bill. Because uh, I, I just think what happens with these installations is you give the environment itself. Uh, the environment becomes the gallery wall, and you react to them differently than, I mean, I've done paintings of these guys, you know, 36 by 36, so the guy's only about this high. So you look at me and go, that's nice. But when you start playing around with these the, the plywood painted figures, it has a whole different, you react to it differently. And when we put these up in Lamy, uh, it's right where the road comes out from Lamy Highway 30, or Road 33, where it hits 285, and it faced uh, due east. So when the sun came up, all the glittering uh, accoutrements you see on these figures caught the light. And at noon, they became dull. And then when the sun set, you got just these black silhouettes. So it was it, even we were using the sun even to give make these things look uh, different colors and shapes. And I was there. I, I showed up before dark and we went out there and right when the sunrise, we had all the all the Indians out there. And I'll tell you, almost everybody was in tears. It was so beautiful. It was breathtaking. So come on in to Artisan. We got 14 of them here. Come take a peek at it. Thank you, Tom Ross. You're welcome. If you're interested in them, uh, I'm represented by Sorrel Sky Gallery. If we have to do a commercial. Sure. Sorrel Sky Gallery. That's where you can buy them at. All right. All right. Thank you, Ron. Thank you.